Okay, we are officially recording. And what I want to do is now I want to dedicate the next however long to the end of this webinar. I want to answer your questions. And uh, I think Bao's here. Bao, if you want to come on, I did unmute you. I think. Let me make sure. Can you, can you hear me? Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? How you feeling, man? Uh, a lot. I just dude, I know. I, well, I know you woke up like freaking fifteen minutes before they opened, overslept, and you still killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, that's I'm just following the MIC process, man. So what I did today was this, guys. I literally woke up in a panic mode ten minutes before they opened, six twenty market time. And that like, never happens, by the way, guys. That's very rare for Bow. I'm like freaking out, dude. Cause I was eating a fucking cup of noodles at midnight last night. I was a bad choice. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what the first thing I did is I jumped on MIC. I went to the fucking chat list right here. The, I mean the, the, the watch list right here. And I, and I saw Alex and stuff. I'm reading all that shit. So right there, Alex and the other mods have already did a scan for me of the entire market. So I didn't have to fucking do any work. <laughs> so I kind of cheated today. I pulled up the list of the tickers that they were watching, and then I put it on my level two, and that's that's what it was. Dude, that was, was instantaneously from this watch. It's like, okay, I need OCGN and I need Ovid. <laughs> like, uh, let me just say, I woke up ten minutes before for open, and I made enough for almost a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Val. I'll give you a good deal. Okay, maybe with a good deal, I can afford it now. Just, just, <laughs> just text, just text my line. We'll figure it out, bro. Two, one, three, four, five, eight, five minutes. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that's. I mean, it doesn't take much, guys. Seriously, I mean, you trade well. You just think about this: a thousand shares times. 10 cents, 20 cents, that's 100, 200 bucks. But guys, look at the point. Bao it would almost never does this, but he has only 10 minutes before the open, and this is all he needed to make a lot of money, man. Like the watch list pays just for need to know, dude. Half of, the, half of the, the difficulty, in my opinion, is knowing which stocks to trade, which stocks to avoid. For sure. And so knowing the list of which ones that Alex is looking at, the moderators are looking at, I already know, like they've already figured out which ones to avoid. And which one to focus on. Now, let me actually ask you a question, bro, because a lot of members ask me lately, um, you know, that, that are coming into the club, right? That, that aren't actually members yet. And just a couple that are members that are brand new a couple days in and they go, Tosh, I, 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 how are you guys finding all these stocks, man? Or what should I be focusing on? Dude, this is my answer. And tell me if you agree with me. I say, but I'm like, pretend you're a new member. I'm like, Bow, dude, literally between our watch list that Alex puts together every single day. And when you have 2000 members commentating for two hours to three, four hours before the open, I said, guys, if it's not on our radar in the main chat, which you cannot miss, it's so like in your face, you shouldn't be trading it because we're not looking at it. So those scanners that you're using are useless, dude. You don't need them. Scanners are just going to give you a bunch of tickers, but how do you know which ones to trade? Yep. And if you are long, a lot of these tickers, they, the stocks have already broken down. So you're fucking, you might be buying into a dead stock that will never, ever bounce. Or if you are a short bias trader and using these scanners, everything that pops up, you want to hit, you're going to be dead. Bro, we're in here. We're in here for three hours before the open talking about like the, the stocks you should be watching, let alone the watch list. Like everything is predetermined. Yep. Everything is predefined, guys. There's there's nothing that you will be like guessing by the open. You have we have everything that you need to be ready by the open bell. Everything. <laughs> Look at you trading SOS. What you got? Hey man, I'm making. I'm I'm trying to catch up to the lifetime. I don't need a discount soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need that discount. Nice man. Nice 840 line. I love it. I love it. Shorts are losing the edge a little bit as the reversal hour comes to a close right now, but I know Bow somehow always milks another half hour, and then it's really not an edge for shorts. So that we, we talked about this earlier, guys. There's windows of opportunity for longs and shorts. Uh, if you learn on your own, you would freaking lose all your money before figuring that out. So then you're going to realize, oh, I'm so stupid. I shouldn't even be trading short during the zombie hour, or I should not even be going long during – um, times when the stocks have broken down because a lot oh, of times really? when you start trading, man, uh, tra trading is like this. It, it's actually a reverse of common sense. Common sense says you want to buy shit cheap. CBC says buy shit cheap and sell it Because it's on sale. Fuck, dude. Th there's a reason why it's on sale. I've, I've wrote about this all the time. It's on sale. And so if you're shorting, people love to short stocks that are up too much. Bullshit, man. You want to short weak pieces of shit stocks that have broken down. 
And so when you do that, there's no one buying it anymore. It's just fucking, you know, it's like a fucking ugly ass shoe that, you know, that's 20 years old now. You know, no one's going to fucking buy LA gear shit. Now check, check this out on SOS, bro. So within MIC, you guys are going to actually really start learning of a time-based trading. These areas that I've kind of implemented, these, these kind of borders that I put up, these are the short edge. You have the first hour and reversal hour, dude. This is zombie hour. Look at this shit. For, so yeah. for if you're in a what room- What time is it zombie, bro? What time do you start zombie? Dude, exactly at freaking 1030, bro. That's insane. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Like, look at, just draw a line, bro. <laughs> this is the I'm shit not. we teach you every day. This is the edge for shorts. This is the edge for longs. And then shorts have the edge again. Now shorts are diminishing their edge right now as we get closer to the, to the end of the day. But dude, I mean, draw your lines, bro. <laughs> Here, man, I want to I show you something for the, everybody to see too. This is the power of knowledge of knowing the zombie rule. Let me let me let me uh, highlight this and paste it to you. Which, by the guy, we've made. We, by the way, guys, we've made zombie hour and stuff sound really simple because look, it is simple, but it still took Bao ten years to really, you know, look through the microscope and learn this for you guys. Like, this is not just something that a chat room can come up with, man. This is, yeah, dude, look at that. Wow. Nice stop, bro. You knew exactly it was, it was time. Look at that shit, boo. Bro, you got a higher low forming off the bottom. You have volume coming in and you have zombie hour coming in with a ramp above your stop. Dude, it's perfect stop. It's a perfect stop. If you did not know this education, you would say, hey, it's under VWAP. It's, you know, it's broken. Wrong. Dead Wrong. meat. And then, of course, I know why you're hitting right here because we got this previous outer line right here, Tavi, you sneaky son of a bitch. I knew yeah. you were going to grab that. Dude, and then because this is on its way up, Bao is doing what's called frontside shorts require frontside cover. So let's, let, let's zoom in on this a little bit. As you guys can see on the way up, dude, he's shorting on the ramp and the parabolic up into resistance, but he knows that he's got to cover this wash because it could keep going. This is the stuff we teach you every single week and our members are thriving on each side of the trend. They're either staying safe if they're shorting any kind of front side or smaller size and they're capitalizing on the backside because that's when you can theoretically or you know confidently hold a little bit longer because you have more of an edge. Does that make sense? Dude, it, 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 this is a work of art, bro. Seriously. You're getting away from not adding to a loser, knowing that you should stop and just fucking leave it alone until it peaks out. I mean, that's the stuff that you would never figure out by yourself because you wouldn't even know about the existence of a zombie rule. And you keep wondering why you're, why, why you're getting screwed. You're up. You're up, man. You know, all these guys are shorty. They're up. And the next you know, they're fucking blown away. Yeah, it took, it took Bao the algo crusher for 10 years to really iron this out, man. You guys don't think you can do this alone, dude. You need, you need to understand how hard this is without our team. We make it look easy, but that's because you have two decades of experience talking. This is not something we whipped up overnight, man. Would you, so Bao, this guy goes zero, zero hundred says, would you flip long at this point on your stop out? How would you answer you, that? You, you, you could. So what, this is what, what, what I should do if I'm a better trader. I, I mean, I didn't prepare for this because I woke up late, remember? Um, a lot of the members are using the zombie hour. So that you can use a zombie hour for a couple of things. To know if you're a short seller to get the fuck out. Or number two, to take advantage of the idiot shorts that are still stuck. Yep. So a lot of our members, if you are a long bias trader, man, Start peeking around zombie hour at stocks, what we call hovering VWAP. Okay, we talk about that later. But um, the hovering VWAP is around, look at this, it's hovering, right? It's consolidated, peaked out, and now it's just in eyesight view of Guys, look VWAP at this, reclaim. Man. And then what happens is boom, man, blast off. Dude, about look, look at this like tightening of price action, bro. The proof is in the pudding, man. I mean, you have a low right here. You have a higher low right here, bro. This is forming and just tightening price action. Look at this. These are all lows, and then you get that squeeze, and now it's off to the races, bro. Yep. This yeah, is stuff that, that all the you time. can stay yep. safe. You, when the range starts to tighten, consolidation, watch out. And you guys could also watch the volume. I mean, look at the volume in the front hour. Like, where does the – look, volume is – if you want to put up, in – Pull up C-O-H-N right now. C-O – Cohen? Yep. C-O-H-N? Oh, shit. Look at the time. Bro. What time is it? Yep. Reversal hour ended six minutes ago. It ended right here. 
Three o'clock. We have a three o'clock rule. Be fucking careful if you're shorting. I will draw a line. This is where we tell shorts to cut off. Look at the time. Look at the time. To the hour. To the minute. Fuck crazy, right, guys? This is Just where like you lose the edge as a short for the rest of the day. Bro, this shit is not rocket science. I'm so sick of people overcomplicating everything. I'm telling you guys. The problem, the problem, the reason that the reason they oh, the reason they overcomplicate because they don't know. They yeah, think that, that everything's complicated. But look, look, we just gave you two of the biggest fucking rules in trading. One of the biggest rules. <laughs> the fucking zombie rule and now the reversal thing. I mean, dude, you could just make a living off of these rules. <laughs> Isn't that insane, dude? It, it, and people aren't going to believe us because it sounds so simple now. Literally, it sounds too simple. Like, it's too good to be true. <laughs> it's like, dude. <laughs> oh, man. You guys have any questions? Guys, answer, ask your questions right now. You got me and Bow to answer them. Seriously, get your questions in. I want to see a lot of questions. We got wow. too much free stuff. There's no more questions. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, who's giving out free lifetime today? <laughs> Seriously, I think, I think they just show up for free shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we give away the rules for free. <laughs> bro, we need to start just doing like raffles every single week of like mugs and notebooks and lifetime giveaways. Seriously, maybe we should auction this stuff. Maybe we find a cool auction. We'll auction off a date with Bao, like a dinner with Bao. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't want a guy to win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would outbid him just so I don't have to go on that date. <laughs> <laughs> just send one of your clones, man. We know you got like 10,000 clones floating around out there. When you love to trade, how do you walk away? John, when you realize that you lose money if you stay. When you realize that your fucking passion for money outweighs your passion for entertainment. <laughs> Dude, don't be too horny for a trade, man, because if you are, you're going to give it back, man. I can't tell you how many years I would smoke the morning and I'd give it back in a zombie hour because I didn't know it before Bao. I, I, before I became friends with Bao many years ago, I didn't know these things, dude. Before MIC, these things were not talked about, dude. Bao brought all decades of information, taught everybody. Like, dude, there were days where I got smoked. Just keep trading because you think you can make more. David yeah, says man, he's you're... always horny. I, I'm not going to ask questions, but I'll bet it's true. You know, man, every, everybody, every, every, it's like everybody loves to do something until they get kicked in the balls over and over. Well, it's like so. the Mike Tyson quote, right, Val? It's like everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Until you learn MIC's teachings, you're like, oh, now I know the real plan. Everybody thinks they can trade alone, dude. Everybody thinks they can trade alone until they lose half their account. And then they hit a bow in DMs. They're like, can you teach me for free? I just lost half my account. We're like, what? Teach you for free? Do you trust your outer lines on a slow grind up or a parabolic? We talked about this in many of the trading fish videos. Slow grind, slow grind walk-ups avoid. Only hit the quick spikes parabolics. Exactly. I could not agree more, man. If it's slow, grinding, trending, follow the trend. Follow the trend, man. But like what Bao did right here on SOS, right? Like this was a good example. When Bao hit, uh, where was it? Right here. This was a bit of a parabolic move because it was such a walk up from lows, but into a really big resistance that, yeah, you can try this out. But again, you better be 30% of your size and you better be willing to cover a, a first wash or a nice little the, kind of dip in trend. The, the beauty, the beauty of shorting the outer line is the ease of the short. I mean, the stop. If you short the outer line, the stop should be very obvious. And if you, didn't, if you don't stop out, you, you fucking didn't get killed. Because the stop should always be the high day break, right, guys? What Bao means by this, guys, I'll put it in visual form, is if you are shorting anywhere in here, I mean, dude, it, your, your, pre, your risk is defined. You know what I mean? Or if you're stopping out, if you give yourself this stop, like obviously it depends on where you're starting in, but I mean, dude, your risk is defined. So if you're starting in here, you can give up to here. Or if you're starting from, say, here because you want to use it, I mean, stop out right here, man. The, the risk is defined. So this is another secret <clears throat> about stopping out. Uh, how do you know when to stop out? Take a look at where the lines are. Where is the next major line? Yep. That's where the major loss is going to come because when it hits that shit, you're going to shit your pants. It's going to hit your max loss. You're going to short there. I'm going to cover there at the top. So, <laughs> so before it gets there, I, I determine, okay, where's the next line? 
oh, fuck, it's way too far out. I'm going to stop out. Hence, line to line. If they're this far apart, you know, here, let me move one for you. If they're this far apart, what are you guys going to scale from here to here? No, you're going to cut here and then reattack here if that's the line you want to hit. But if a line is, you know, say right there, if Bao's shorting right here and he goes, well, dude, there's a huge nether ceiling right here, he'll scale both. Does that make sense? That's line to line trading. Uh, thing with the lines, you can draw a million lines. Every penny could be a fucking line. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> so a lot of these, I see a lot of guys drawing way too many fucking lines. So the art of drawing a line is an art in itself as well as a science. So with experience, you'll know. Um, this is why the watch list is so important. The watch list could be reverse engineered to figure out how they draw the lines, how Alex draws the lines. Yep. And if you ever get confused, guys, mine is always putting it near outer top. So like these topping little mountains, quote unquote, or, or mountain ranges, whatever you want to call it. But I like the previous tops is where I draw all my lines. Yep. And the if nipples. you can sync that, if you can sync that with a whole and a half dollar <laughs> number, you are the nipples. <laughs> Wait, what's that, pal? The nipples? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> actually, There's two nipples right there, bro. <laughs> as, as Joe said one time in his webinar, this is his left breast and this is his right breast, and that's the mountain range you want to show. That's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it, dude. Welcome to trading. Don't fight trend. Oh, HR is in the house, and she is not happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, Mama Tay. So as you guys can see, man, Trading is super mathematical. It's, it's super confusing if you don't know what you're talking about, but it's so simple and you can eyeball most of it if you do know what you're talking about. Yeah, the lines after a while, I just eyeball because I've been so used to it, but you should start with the exercises. You just draw the lines. So this is where paper training comes in. You start practicing it, man. You can print this chart out and draw it by hand if you like, or use a charting program, like you know the free ones that you use. Yep. And guys, like it's so, it's so much like Bao said a long time ago to me that always, always rang true, right? Like, and it always stuck in my head. Trading is as much art as it is in a science. So like in the beginning, I was looking at like every single tick. I was like, oh my God, where I draw the lines. But dude, after years and years of experience, now I just eyeball it. Like you said, now, anytime I really zoom in and I'm like, okay, is this the correct line? I'm lining up with what I eyeballed to, well, okay, if I drew my line seven cents away from the whole half dollar number, I'm going to raise it to the whole half dollar number because that's a humongous psychological price target. So if I had it, you know, it's 794. Oh, well, dude, I might as well use eight. You know what I mean? The, um, just remember, uh, this is not an exact science. If it Correct. was an exact science, fuck, man, the algos would kill us, which they do, but <laughs> it's not Dude, exact the algos would rape us, seriously. Um, so knowing that where the lines are is an approximation. So people go, why, why, why are you always doing 447, 450? I mean, well, I do 447 and also a little bit over 457, you know? Because I don't know where it's going to go. So I, my whole point is the scaling gives me an average I like. And also Val's a little superstitious. So that plays a part as well. Unless I size more size than most people. So, you know, yeah, if you're just using 100 shares, you, you, you know, you could break it up to 50 shares you like or just do one bullet. But, you know, 10,000 shares is a different story, right? Exactly. Oh, I think we, okay, we got a couple more questions. Uh, let's see. Do you trust outer line? Oh, no, we answered that. Um, been learning options and it is awesome for building small accounts. Joe Kelly Bootcamp. Oh, dude, awesome. Sing praises, man. If you guys are not in options yet, definitely check it out. Bao, what gives you confirmation at the open if you want to short out of the gate or wait a few minutes based on pre-market lines? So what gives you that confirmation to go immediately or wait? I, you, know, you know what, man? I don't need confirmation. I have so much trust in my lines. Um, I've done the research pre-market to know where my lines are and I put what's called a fantasy order out and that's how I'm filling these so quickly at the open. Uh, yep. Over time, you're going to have confidence in your system. You're like, shit, man, I should have gone in there. So what happens is this. If you miss that line, you're going to end up chasing. You go, shit, I was right, I was right, I was right. And so after a certain times of you doing that, you say, why don't you put the order out? It's really scary though unless you trust it. So what you do is you size down. What's the worst that could happen? You fucking lose, you slop out. The problem people, the, the fear people have is to blow up an account. You placing a small initial order is not gonna blow your account. What blowing your account is keep adding to a loser. So what I do is I put out some starter positions as fantasy orders. When they hit, 
I look at it and I determine should I add more or not. Dude, so again, it's not rocket science. This is how you protect your accounts, guys, and this is how you trust. So if you find yourself being gun shy or whatever, set your fantasies that, and then set them smaller size if you're obviously over VWAP, and this is going to be the best way to go. But you, uh, so much of this game requires what Bao just said. It requires trust. He's been doing this so long, he doesn't even have to think about it anymore. It's a reaction. It's a reflex because it's so ingrained. He's like, dude, I've seen this 100 times work. Look, three times out of, you know, 100 times, it's not going to work. But man, that 97% win rate or whatever it is, you know, but he has a lot of trust in his I, I, I call it like, I call it trading as a reflex. After a while, it becomes like a reflex. You fucking, someone punches you in the, throws a ball in your head, you're in a duck, right? You start out as a baby, you get hit in the head five, ten times, and then you start to learn to fucking duck when someone throws a ball in your face. Dude, when your girlfriend comes in in a new dress and she says, do I look fat in this? What's your reflex, dude? Hell no, honey, of course not. You look skinnier than ever. <laughs> it's like you learn things over the years, man. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> stop out. Take the stop box. Take this. That's a max loss, bro. You are stopped out. <laughs> do I look fat? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Just blow your own head off, bro. That's it for you. <laughs> that's that's why I love wearing a mask. It's like COVID's over. Why are you wearing the mask? <laughs> so I can laugh. Because I don't want her to see my facial reactions. <laughs> okay. Um, one more question for you about OCGN topped out at pre-market high of day or pre-market high line today. They could trigger stops for shorts right above that, but they, they did not. It's surprising. OCGN. Yeah, what, what's your question? <laughs> well, the, I, I think his question was, um, it topped out at this line. They didn't do this the sweep of the market orders, is what right, he said. I'm going to show you what I did in the morning. So once again, I woke up late, guys. Man, down to the penny, too. Look at that double top right there. Look at that bottom cover. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Jeez. So I have so much trust in the outer line, which is the 14 line. I put it up there. Boom, it worked. <laughs> Fucking sick, bro. Mind you, really quick, Val, not to not to focus too much on that first outside of this, dude. When bro, this was the expected move. I tell everyone to take in the morning. Guys, this was the broken stock when SLGG was the main runner of the day making new highs. This was gonna fail at view up. This was the guaranteed expected layup. Now so, when SLG so I talked I talked about this in the IG live on Tuesday. I call yep. it the exhaustion. It's like fucking running uphill. Look at this. It ran from 11.50 to 14 bucks. What do you think is going to happen? It has to profit take. Profit taking has to happen. 90% yep. of the time, this setup works. I call this the first resistance type of the trade, meaning I don't know where the major one is going to fucking come down. When it comes down, it's going to come down hard like this. Yeah. And, and I'm very surprised I didn't go back up higher. I didn't do research on this much, but that's why you saw me covering around VWAP. I always cover some around VWAP because this is way too early. If they reclaim VWAP, they can break 14 bucks and you're stuck. It's yep. going to limit order up. And so let's take a look at the float OCGN. So this is how I determine this. So OCGN, the float was huge. So, okay. So that's why there was, you know, I wasn't scared. If this was a four million dollar, four million float, I I would not have done this. I would I would just leave the fuck alone. This is a hundred fifty six million share float. It's huge. It's huge. You see, so it's all context, guys. People, it's not always the same. You always have to look at a few things. Okay, look at the VWAP. Look at the float. Float's going to determine whether or not I even get into this play. I don't touch a lot of these stocks, and it's four million float. Because this would not work on a four million float. I'm telling you right now, a pump chat room will break fourteen dollars. It'll be seventeen dollars in a heartbeat. Yep. But Bow's right, man. Look at this long journey from lows, guys. Without any dips, that's also another guide for you. Without really many dips, and you know it comes up from eleven forty up to fourteen, bro. This is a humongous wall of resistance. And, and, and we always talk about size down, widen your stops. Hell yeah, dude. So the first one was a small VWAP area. So you notice I entered the VWAP, but I covered it right away in the bottom. And then I, then I added it a little higher. So th that cover helped. You know, look at where I covered. I covered at the bottom of the channel. So I shorted first at the VWAP, covered at the bottom of the channel. And it's just freaking zombie up. See that, guys? 
And look, they're not always going to sweep orders, right? Like it's not always going to make it, you know, eight cents over and then stuff. Not always. Sometimes it's to the actual cent. Like it happens all the time. Okay. Uh, a couple more questions. Let's catch up. Let's see. Uh, two YouTube questions. Comment on TRXC failure today, Bao. TR, let's pull that up. TRXC. TRXC was a fucking hard stock. Yeah, dude, this was a weird one, bro. I, um, some stocks, it just doesn't behave. So I had major FOMO on this. I woke up late. I fucked up on this. This. So this is me fucking up. I'm going to show you. This is not a good trade, guys. I am... Um, I'm up great on the stock though, but it basically small size scaling saved me. I was patient to wait. Um, I there was really no risk for me to get blown out because my average wasn't that bad, and I was using smaller size. Yep. That's why yep. you saw the when you see that many bullets, it means I I scaled down. Well, and obviously this thing is not you know making moves from eleven to you know fifteen. This is very different range, as you guys can see, which I'm sure Bao you know incorporate into his scales. And the float is 98 million shares, so I was in danger of getting blown away. Huge float. So I'm telling you, man, I, it, it's all the float size. When if you take a look at how you blow up your, the counts on adding and adding and adding, it's usually on low floats. So yep. when I see a low float, I don't fucking scale like this. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, this was a weird one, Bao. This was one of those ones that just randomly, like, almost doesn't conform to charts and it does some weird action on its own, but it was. It was weird, man. Every now and then you get kind of like an outlier. Um, yeah, this is weird. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you use a hard stop or a mental stop? We use hard stops, guys. Hard stops across the board. In the beginning, you should always use a hard stop. Uh, there's, certain, there's only certain situations you don't. It's when you size too much. And that's and when at that level you're you're advanced, so you you know what the fuck you're doing. We're supposed to know, but start the habit of using hard stop. The moment you start using hard stop, you will use it for the rest of your career. The problem is in the beginning, I had so much misinformation out there. The misinformation is this: do not use the hard stop. The market makers will fucking hunt them down. Bull fucking shit. Who gives? Then you don't give a fuck about your hundred shares. Guarantee you that you don't make enough money for them. Give a fuck. And these guys are like, I have five hundred shares. I got, I got stuff down the top. They, they were looking for me, man. They really? They were, look, they were looking for me. <laughs> so this is why I created a video called "How to Properly Take a Stop Loss," guys. It's in the member ballot library. The reason you're getting stopped out is you're a part of the herd. I do not stop out at the herd areas. I am actually doing the reverse of the herd. So areas that you're getting fucking stopped out, I am fucking like $14 on OCGN. I'm the guy shorting it while you're covering it. 100% Val's filling your covers, yep. <laughs> you are basically giving me your fucking shares. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a transfer of ownership of those shares. Hey, I, you know, I, I might as well just give you my Venmo account. Just Venmo me. Yo, I take Cash App, I take Venmo, you can Zell us. <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude, that is just fucking borrow me the money. I'll you save can you give fucking us gift time cards to our favorite steakhouses, whatever you want. <laughs> seriously, dude, when I see that shit, I go, oh, man, that's a bad for whoever stopped out. <laughs> Yo, David Bobby just said it best. I can't trust myself with mental stops. Dude, I can't either. I need to set hard stops. I can't you, you, myself. you, when you're trading, man, mental stops, it, I'm telling you right now. It's even a, a pro level is so difficult to stop out mentally. Bro, because a little bit more and then a little bit more becomes a lot more. And then you're, you, you're in the headlights. You, you don't understand how often that if I did not fucking eat a big loss, I would have lost like my entire fortune. I'll give you an example. K-B-I-O. K-B-I-O. Oh, my I God. Had, I had like 35,000 shares short and this stock was fucking – like three dollars a share, right? Twenty thousand shares or something. Very little. Fifteen thousand, twenty thousand shares or something like that on a three dollar stock, right? Um, I was like, how much can you go? <laughs> so next thing you know, fucking thank God I was around after hours. After hours, there's no hard stops, guys. After hours. Next thing you know, what the fuck? This shit was at five bucks. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, cover, cover, cover. I don't know. I'm I'm telling you, man, if I didn't do this, uh, so I covered fifteen thousand shares. I had five thousand shares left. So I covered 15,000 shares at five bucks. So I took a big ass loss already. And then I couldn't cover the last 5,000 shares until like eight bucks. And then I'm like, holy fuck, I lost $70,000.
Oh, your commentary is fucking hysterical, bro. Hey, so you, you know where the stock ended up in 10 minutes? $20. Guys lost millions. Dude, how many times, how many times have you ever been now? And I'm not talking about $80,000. I'm not talking about 300 grand. How many times have you guys been in that position? I'll bet all of you have at least been a deer in the headlights once or twice. Bow's commentary was hysterical because dude, I'm laughing at that because that was me for years, bro. I'd be like, how far can it go? Famous last words. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What is this? That's, like, that's, dude. that's what I do. I see so many people blow up because they're like, how far can it go? I'm going to hold it. How far hold can it go? How far I, can it go? I, 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 I my first reaction was get the fuck out. I cannot afford to lose more than seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> and that's why Bow's here today teaching you still. <laughs> Dude, you you imagine I covered around six dollars for a seventy thousand dollar loss and hit twenty dollars. That would have been dude, I like a Bro, that's a lot of loss. cheese. That is a lot of cheese. I'm sitting on the 18th floor now and jump out the window shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, what thou experience is basically my golf game. By like hole three, I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Stop out. Some guys don't stop out to the 18th hole, man. Then they want to jump off a bridge. So use those fucking hard stops, man, because you yep. do not. We keep saying already, right, you have to earn the right to use a mental stop. And you know what? Bingo. Man, even pros, man, they put in that fucking shit. I, so many times I just. I go to the bathroom, I, I come back with a hard stop, I'm like, what the fuck? Well, and, Bell, and, and and I think it suits, you know, when it comes to stops, guys, I think stops are, you know, very much implemented as per your emotional level. Look, dude, me and Bauer are very emotional people. I don't know about David Bobby, maybe he's a very emotional guy, but guys, unless you're a rock, unless you're a steady hand, I would never recommend not using hard stops. I don't care if you've been trading 20 years. I'm an emotional guy. I need the hard stop. It's Don't just who play. I am. It, it's one of, I'm hell of emotional. There you go. Yep. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. I need a hug too when I'm freaking getting stopped out. But I'll I tell you, man, make, make, make it a fucking habit, guys. Make it <coughs> a habit. Make it a habit. Make and when they say habits, you know, formed in like 21 days, all you have to do is if you're not doing them right now is implement them for 21 days. Now it'll just be a reaction. Now every trade you do will have a hard stop, whether you make money on it or whether you don't. Yes, sir. Uh, where are we at? <clears throat> Let's catch up, guys. We'll do a little bit more. We got a little bit more time. Um, can you yeah. comment about SLGG? It was kind of tricky today. <coughs> keep, keep talking because I need to cover this SOS. I didn't know. <laughs> He's sicko. All right, I love it. Yeah, let me so, post it. No, 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 I'm, just I, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'll comment on this. Shit. I love this shit. Okay. <coughs> so I covered a, a third. I'm going to scale down to 790s. Oh, shit. Let's see what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing. <coughs> this is a great trade. <laughs> that was keeping the tradition alive, baby. This live trading. <laughs> hey, man. Can I make some money while I'm giving free sh free advice away? I take Cash App or a Morton's gift card. Yeah, lap dance. No, it's, it, it's, you got to be. <coughs> what's, your what's your question? I'm sorry. What's the question? <coughs> What's the question again? Sorry. Nice fucking trade, bro. Nice trade. It was a SLGG. S, uh, the guy said SLGG was kind of weird today. Can we comment upon the action of what it was doing? I don't think it was that weird, <coughs> to be honest. But here, here is my SLGG. Let me see. I fucked up the cover. I had a fat finger at the end today, so I, sh I should have been fucking shorting it. I covered it at the bottom. So at the end, of the last trade, I fucked up. I put a fat finger. It was a typo. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see it. So there's nothing – it was weird in the aspect that it spiked up and spiked straight back down. This nothing was the only weird, weird part. Nothing weird about that because it happens, man. It's so fucking fast. And that's where fantasy orders work. If I had properly planned this like I usually do like an hour before the open, I would have put in my fantasy order and you would have saw a top tick at 840. <laughs> Well, and, and like, here's the thing, guys. It, it's not that weird because it was the hot chick in the morning while other, every other things were kind of breaking down or putting in tops or breaking under VWAP heavily until it didn't, until it just put in a top and then it cracked under VWAP. He could have hit bounces. And then, dude, I <clears> respect <throat> zombie hour. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Hold mic drop, dude. I'm going to draw a line, bro. I'm gonna look at this. Look at this shit. 730. <laughs> Where did the zombie start? And then, hold on. Hold on. We're coming back to reversal hour, right? Here's reversal hour. When did things start breaking down? Boom. Dude, mic drop. I, this is not rocket science, guys. You guys got to learn the fundamentals of a chart. Dude, I can't, like, why aren't you guys joining MIC? <laughs> why aren't you guys joining MIC? 
because we're giving too much shit for free, bro. That's exactly right. We're not making, you know what? I'm going to ma- maybe tell Alex, we're not going to post this one public. <laughs> yeah, okay. No. Nah. <laughs> this is too good, man. This is too good. Nah, we are too nice. We are too nice. We are way too nice. You know what, though? The reason, the reason why we can share some of this shit for free, dude, which this is really a lot of our process, is because, you know what, man? Lazy guys are still not going to watch it because they think free doesn't have value, and that's the problem. Here's an example of a KMPH, a fancy order. Oh, that what was is way that? too fast that if I did not put it in, it would never execute. Oh, let's take a look. <clears throat> MPH. Oops. So, you know, I put in that shit when I woke up. I was like, okay, I put, all I did was I put in the, the hour line. What order? Right here. <clears throat> that was using this line right here in this previous top. Yep. Top. That's all I did. You got a top right here. You got three tops in this line. Do you guys see what we're looking at now? So when he shorts right here, what do you think he's looking at? There's been three tops set in this line. And, and let's take it a step further, 18 line. See this? 18, whole and half dollars. So you can basically do that. That's all you got to do. Huge here's resistance a, right there. Foul caught a fantasy order. Here's a, a zoomed in. You see it? Boom. Not rocket science. Um, yeah, very nice, pal. Very fucking nice. Great job, man. Fantasy orders. Fantasy orders, baby. I made a dollar fifty. Enough for an annual. I'll hook you up with a nice discount. <laughs> <laughs> Just text my line. <laughs> Enough to pay the, the pumpers chat room that helped me make. If, money. if you're lucky, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll give you a discount on the accelerator too. I'll throw you like a bundle deal. <laughs> <laughs> New trader here. I learned more in three mornings with the main trading channel than I did in four months of trying to learn on my own. I have to pin this shit, dude. I have to pin this. Yes, Three exactly. days in the main trading room, he learned more than four months of him trying to do it on his own. Peter T. I have no idea who this guy is. He's brand new. Peter, you're awesome. And that is a very common comment in here, man. It really is. Meaning <laughs> that's what a lot of traders say. That's a great thing, right? Like we're providing a lot of value to our members. Because trading is, I mean, people think it's intuitive. It's actually not intuitive. <laughs> it's the opposite of in- it's intuitive. It's counterintuitive. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, shit. I mean, I'm like putting, I, I am like, it's basically, how am I going to say this? CNBC is fucking wrong. Call dollar cost average bullshit. Fuck that shit. <laughs> do not average down at all. Don't buy low, buy high. That's the, that's the fucking way to do it. I, it's like when I was a kid, man, I always bought shit on sale, but I never liked the shirts I bought on sale in the clearance bin. You know, <laughs> I should just buy one regular price shirt and wore it all the time. You just buy it because you think it's a good deal. Then you're like, wow, this really was on sale. For yeah, it's just like fucking, you know, you end up bomb scooping three stocks when you could just bought one fucking good ass stock that went up. Guys, this isn't, you're not buying Coca-Cola where if it dips, that's truly a company on sale because they own 10,000 enterprises. This is like KMPH you're going to buy on a discount? No, dude. This is not a dividend paying oh, stock. Three, this is not investing. Okay. So it's 3.30 and I just canceled all my open orders. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of times we, I call it house uh, maintenance, guys. You have to do fucking routine maintenance, Ooh, no. house cleaning. Okay, housekeeping, whatever you want to call it. Bring the maids in, man. These, have these guys up. will come back. These stocks will come back. They'll fucking zombie your ass. And you're like, what the fuck? I forgot to cancel this order. Yep. Happy Gilmore did well swinging hard. Well, yeah, that's a movie. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do you distinguish between waiting for confirmation on a move versus chasing the move? It should be obvious. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, man. There's, there's. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious, man. I mean, a- anticipation or you know, wait, is, wait. I mean, you can chase after it confirms. So that's the thing. People, the, the word chase, chasing a stock sometimes it gets a bad, bad connotation. But that's you know, there's certain situations where chasing is okay when it breaks a certain major resistance. That's all you know it confirms, you know, and you wait and you saw it confirms. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna chase a little bit and then add on each pop. Well, Bal, what about SLGG today? When when you finally let it top out and it absolutely slammed under VWAP, it's a little bit of a chase, but this pop right here would have been solid, man, honestly. 
I don't care if you chase. I don't care if you do whatever. Put it on a hard stop. You're fine. And you can trade however you want. You can put whatever the fuck rules you want. Put in your hard stop. Predefine your risk. And you can trade anything you want. Because at the end oh, yeah. of the day, guys, to be honest, I don't know what the stock's going to do 100% of the time. You, you know, most of the time, like, I'm fucking, I'm guessing all the time, right? Everyone's, everything's a guess. And so, but I'm guessing with the high probability. It's an educated there, there guess. There are certain situations where, you know, it's shit. I mean, you get 20 blackjack hands, you still going to get 21 and lose. So it's okay to do what I tell you not to do as long as you put in your fucking hard stop and you predefine your risk. Yeah, dude, Bell, let's not, let's not gloss over that, dude. That's huge. Think about it, guys. You're at the blackjack table, and you have two kings. You're guessing that you're going to beat the dealer, but it's still not guaranteed, but it's your best educated guess. The edge is in your favor. There's no different in stock trading. Stock trading is the only time where you can see your hand first and then bet however you want. See your hand first. That's yep. waiting for confirmation. And, 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 and putting hard stop is like fucking insurance policy, man. Dude, seriously, man. You don't want to fucking lose your lives. Like putting in a fucking seatbelt, bro. Most of the time you may never need a seatbelt, but that one time that you do get in a car accident, you're fucking toast. Dude, that is so well said. I can't even stand it. Seriously. That's the new analogy now. Use it. Just Trademark. peace of mind, man. And even if you didn't use the hard stop, it's like, I mean, or at least you didn't need it in your trade, but you used it. It, it, it takes stress off your life. I, I, I'm bro. telling you, man, a lot of times I sit there, I, I do put a hard stop in, and I'm, and I'm manually, manually, mentally stopping out before the hard stop, guys. Isn't that funny? You do, you do not have to wait to get stopped out. When you know you're wrong, get the fuck out. But, Bal, what you're saying is, though, because that hard stop's in there, bro, the stress is all gone. Oh, right? dude, the stress is there. So I'm taking, I'm actually, a lot of times, guys, I am stopping out before the hard stop hits. Right. Insurance policy. Same thing with this fucking SOS. Look at this shit, man. The, I mean, I'm like, fuck, dude, because the stop should have been over VWAP. But why am I waiting over VWAP? VWAP's another 20 cents away. That's a lot of money. Yep. Especially if your size, you know, pretty, pretty deep. Look what time it is, man. This is, a, this is totally an expected move based on the time we're in. Completely. What, what, stock what stock is that? Completely. What are you looking at? Which one? What are you looking at right now? Oh, I'm looking at SOS right now. Oh, okay, it shot up, yeah. I, I'm saying, dude, this is this is a totally expected move based on the time of the day. Like the last time Bow traded it where he covered. That's why I canceled my open orders, and that's why I covered. Remember I showed you the cover? Yep, look at the time, guys. 3.30 um, market time is when you just don't short anymore. And if you do, you better be going in very soft and at resistance. Yep, you were going to But I wouldn't even recommend it. I The last half hour of the day, man, I you just don't short, bro. Like, it's not worth yeah, it. That's what we said, man. I Remember I told you, I'm like, oh, shit, 3.30, cancel all my open orders. Yeah, David Bobby warned all of us, dude. He's like, look at the freaking clock, you idiots. <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> Slap you with a walk. I, I, I think the last time we did this webinar, I was, like, still trading after hours. I didn't even know what's after hours. <laughs> yeah, Val didn't even – dude, Val loses track of time. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, I just love trading so much. He's like, I didn't even know. <laughs> I do it for education. <laughs> it's tax deductible, isn't it? If I lose, <laughs> dude, I don't think I've ever seen anybody more in love with anything in anything in life than Bao is with trading, bro. He just loses time because he loves it so much. He like I think, I, I think there's other chart. things I like more, but we can't publicly speak about it. Yeah, we, our HR department is present at the moment. <laughs> but if I can combine it, like Mike Tyson, <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> no, I, wait, this is, this is legit. This is legit. Me. Oh man! We're, oh just, oh oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. A couple more questions, guys. A couple more questions. We'll wrap this up. Um, SOS just, yep. SOS just flipped. Counterintuitive, just like golf. Exactly. Harder you swing, the harder you miss. Buy low, sell high. Trading is easy. Ha ha ha. Um, okay, guys. Any closing questions? <laughs> is that too dirty? Raise your hand it. if you've done this before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't raise your hand. <laughs> Keep it PG. Oh, man. Man, didn't yeah, like Tyson in the back. <laughs> Joe, Joe said he'd be divorced, <laughs> yet he's got a trading setup in his master bedroom. <laughs> Joe, what are you talking about, bro? <sighs> Honey, come back to bed. Wait, I'm getting squeezed. I'm getting fucked over here already. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, honey. I can't give you attention. The markets are fucking me. <sighs> That's why I want a guy with a stock chart tattoo. Yep, girls trade too, man. I'm telling you. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. 
<laughs> <laughs> that is a really good one. <laughs> like 50 Shades of Training. <laughs> Freaking bow in there, dude. <laughs> Do what he does. <laughs> No, what the hell is this? <laughs> Girls comes by far and I leave this room like, what the fuck? I thought it was some dungeon. Nope. <laughs> no, what's on your top right corner? Porn <laughs> like, Every time I see this photo, I'm like, what is the POV? <laughs> He's doing those mole, man. Holy oh, shit. Right. <laughs> when I first met Dao, I was like, why you got all these screens for? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, not trading. All right. Uh, is it true if you use a stop range market? Um, I, I'm sorry. If you use a stop range, market makers won't see it. I actually don't know the answer to that question. That's a Joe Kelly. Who question. gives a fuck? They can see it. They false. don't give a damn. That's Joe good. just said false. <laughs> <laughs> or or is uh, explicitly put. Bow just said. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you stop chasing conspiracy theories. Don't fucking do something just because you think that the owl can see it. They don't give a fuck about you, bro. Seriously. <laughs> Yo, let's get this guy with five shares, bro. We got to get him. <laughs> These conspiracy guys. Hey, man. <laughs> guys, this may be some of the most we've ever actually in this webinar talked about uh, price action and MIC process and keeping it simple. If you watch this today, you should probably watch this about three more times. Yeah, I kind of like this format. Tosh. It is. We, I kind of like this format. We, we can do like a few chart reviews and stuff. Yeah, I like this, man, a lot. Um, you know, this, I kind of like this. Just give the the guys on YouTube who is not in MIC a taste of, you know, like what we do. So oh, we dude, and, and, and that's and that's the thing. Val just said it, dude. If you guys got value today, dude, you have no you have no idea how much more value you're gonna get if you actually become a member. This was nothing, bro. Like, if you learned something today, this was nothing compared to what you're going to learn. Longest streak. So this is a funny story. The longest streak. So I'm fucking superstitious like crazy. So I had these fucking red pajamas I wore and I was like, holy fuck, I'm, I'm fucking doing well. <laughs> and so I'm like, must be the pajamas. So I'm like, I'm never going to wash these pajamas until I have a, a red day. It was three and a half months. <laughs> Jesus the end of the three and a half months, dude, I, I should have saved it and fucking put up and fucking hung it up. It was so nasty and crusty and had big holes all over the crotch area. <laughs> Shit stained pajamas. <laughs> so, dude, one year, I think though I had one calendar year where I had maybe 12 days of losses. That's it. Oh my two, God. In a whole calendar 200, year. 250, about the entire 200, year. 252 days. Training calendar, 12 losses. Dude, that's insane. Oh, my God. That's freaking legendary. Okay. So that's awesome. basically one loss a month. <laughs> and the losses are small. <laughs> oh, my God. That's freaking insane, bro. It's possible, man. I mean, dude, this. take a look at some of the member streaks. Holy shit. A whole month, two months. It's possible, guys. <laughs> dude, anybody who's still having trouble, anybody that's still unprofitable, either you haven't joined MIC to actually learn how to trade, or guys, you're not, you're overthinking everything. You're not keeping it simple. <laughs> hey, Joe, so you lost your Virginia at 16? Damn, bro. That's pretty My good. longest streak without sex was 16 years. That's nothing. <laughs> Fuck. I'm yeah, dude, once, it, he, once he got married at 14, man, it was just... <laughs> I'm, I, I'm Buddhist, so my longest streak is like 2,000 years as reincarnated. <laughs> Anyways, okay. How many kids you at now, Joe? <laughs> yeah, Joe made up for lost time, man. Just look at the proof is in the pudding. He's got 10 kids. Yeah, I understand Joe's demented humor. <laughs> Joe is demented as hell. That, that is illegal in uh, most states, except the states that Joe visited. Yo, Flash, nice, man. I, we did the Arizona meetup, dude, like a year ago. Bro, this is phenomenal. Hey, Flash, look at this. Do you see that, guys? Oh. Before, I'm telling you right now, guys, before MIC, Having a month streak was unheard of. It was unheard after, of. Dude. After MIC, look at this shit. I've never seen so many guys with freaking a solid month of no losses. I Bro, mean, how many of these testimonials do we get a day? Like, we get like one of these a day now. Hey, Flash, why aren't you posting this dude, after hours so that I can post this online? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, don't be afraid, man. This is huge motivation, guys. Flash has been around since the beginning of mic i remember the very first days man he was there helping us dude he came to he came to one of the bell he came to one of the arizona meetups dude like a year ago bro i remember flat dude this is awesome man yeah man he was in san jose we were drinking together hey man i'm glad that things are doing well flash 
Hell like, yeah, bro. You're, 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 fuck, I remember wh- where he came from, man. I mean, shit. Hey, get him on the mic. Dude, started yeah, from the bottom now we're here. Hey, flash, you, you want to come on? Flash? You have a mic flash? I just want to give a, you, you can just give like five minute blurb on, on your progress or we can do that. Flash, next let it, let me know if you, give me a thumbs up if you want to come on, man. I can, I can allow you to talk. Cause this I is know, phenomenal, man. He's just a little shy. I know some yeah, people get a little dude, shy, dude. so I don't blame you. But dude, if you want to come on, man, give me a thumbs this, up. I mean, or, or in the next Instagram live. I mean, this is phenomenal, man. Cause you were there from the beginning. This is the thing people don't understand. You know, he was there from the beginning. I, I seen his progress from the beginning. And, and and I know I, like you know his inconsistency up and down. And now I'm looking at this like holy crap, that's that's amazing, man. Yeah, dude, flash. I, I want to know what flash. I want to you get on and tell tell people like what you did differently now to get to these results versus when you just started. I mean, that's the that's the main thing. Oh, he said he's in a meeting today, but dude, try, flash. Okay. Let's try to get you onto the IG Instagram live, live next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. It's Bro, really fun, we want people to hear the journey of people who like it, who have started. Dude, I mean, for lack of a better word, started from the bottom. Now they're on top, dude. Like, like, what was the journey? What did it look like for you? Like, I want, yeah, I want everybody to know, like, the the why. It's everybody has this aha moment, guys. Yep. Everybody has an aha moment where they go, "Holy fuck, I I figured it out." <laughs> that was oh, that my. one meme that you always post, and you're like, "The guy I've been blaming for all the time," and it turns out it's me, and it's the guy looking in the mirror. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. it's like it. it's like this I'm is the fucking this is my losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Dude, you guys got to understand. One of the most aha moments you'll ever have is you'll look in the mirror one day and be like, "Man, I over th- I was overthinking this shit." <laughs> Like, damn, dude, I was getting my own way. Here. It is uh, much watch, simpler watch, than I thought. Watch this video that I'm about to post. When I find out who's Come responsible here. for my training loss. <laughs> you are your worst. You are your worst enemy, man. That's oh good. man, what a good webinar today, Bal. This is, dude. We, we, I, I feel like there was a fine line between teaching too much, but I'm telling you guys, you have no idea, man. If you become a member, you're gonna get 100 times the value you got today. And this was a lot of value, man. This was a lot of value. Yeah, we, we, we just want people to, to, to do well, guys. Seriously, we make money already. Some of these guys, that, that's why we, we're not afraid to give out secrets and stuff, right? Yeah. These other guys, they're, they're using the sheep to make money. So, of course, they're not going to fucking share shit because they don't know anything. But we actually make money trading on our own. So that's or they're going to do live trading videos now after been trading for a week. <laughs> Hey, don't say anything because they're in here listening right now. So, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> hey, what's up, dudes? Keep copying all our shit. Hey, give us a coupon code. Type in the coupon code. I'll no, a- give us a code. <laughs> I'm sick of paying full price to short your shit. Come on. <laughs> 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 give me a code, man. I'll be out. Free, free MIC and return for free. That will get on the annual membership. Just give them a nice code. <laughs> How about an affiliate code? <laughs> affiliate code. A lot of MIC guys are in your chat room shorting your shit. Come on, man. I, I got to make 20% out of that. I got to make 20%, bro. I got to make 20%. That's hysterical. <laughs> Quid pro quo. That's good, Joe. Guys, this was a fantastic webinar, man. This, yeah, this is a good argu- one, guys. Bro, arguably, this is the best webinar I think Val and I have ever done, honestly. This week is the best webinar. If if you guys last thing I'll, webinar this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end on this for you guys, dude. There is so much opportunity and so much volatility in the markets, guys, right now. If you are not a trader right now, you're shooting yourself in the foot. If you're a trader who's not in MIC, you're double shooting yourself in the foot because do not build bad habits while we are in the hottest market we've ever been in that I can ever recall in seven years. This is endless opportunity every day. And the people who are going to benefit are the guys that eat their ego and say, you know what, dude, I can't actually do this alone. Let me get help. And then in the getting of the help, which I'll give you a nice discount, wink, wink. But here's the thing. You are going to learn good habits from the start and you are going to get your goals 3,000 times quicker than the guy that is still getting out of a year or three years of bad habits. Dude, just suck it up and, and learn that mentorship is going to get you there quicker. So with that, I leave you guys. Bow, awesome as always, dude. Hopefully I'll catch you next week, man, with a corn dog or anything that you need. And uh, dude, we'll do it all over again. All man. Right. See you guys back in after hours.
after hours, guys, right here. This is where we go. Right. This is where the fun is. And, uh, dude, now let's go post memes, post p l Shout out Matt Morrow for 2,300 today. Look at that shit, dude. Guys, post your progress, man. We want to see it. Post your progress. All right, guys. Catch you next week, man. See ya.